Happy Jewel. I wanted to share a quick tip with you guys, something that I have um, kind of just came across and just thought it would be a really good idea and thought maybe it would be something, it would be helpful for you guys. If you guys have trouble figuring what to do with scraps of your design paper after you're done with the project and you have all these little pieces that and you don't want to toss, um, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can um, organize that if you'd like. Uh, one I learned from a friend, her name is Jen. Hi Jen, <laughs> and she was my design team leader for Craft Warehouse, and she shared this at one of our retreats, so I'm going to show you how she uh, did it, and I'll actually link her video down below so you guys can take a peek and see how she does it, and then this idea I came up with after I did my frame, um, actually it's this frame right here, I had a little bit of scraps left over and I wanted to, um, I want to show you guys how to put put some of the scraps kind of organizing them so this is the paper pad that I that I used for that project it is the divine collection by Prima so what I did is at the end of my project you know you have your front cover and you have your back cover um, I decided that the back cover would be a great place to put my bag so I sat it I grabbed one of the bags that I have that would um, fit better in the back cover. Now this is an A4 size, so it's like an eight and a half by 11 size paper. Actually, it's a little bit more longer. Um, so I grabbed a bag that fit the back um, cover. So what I did is the the flap part, this flap part or the pocket part is what's what's uh, what I end up sticking down to the cover. So what I have here. is this bag that I stuck down and the pocket is on the back side. So I flip it over and I just pull out what I want. And then whatever I have left, I'll just stick it back into the pouch and then I flip it back over. And that way, if it, you know, anything wants to slide out, it doesn't, you don't lose it. It'll stay there because the flap is down and the pocket is on the uh, bottom part. And then the, it'll kind of be covered with the flap of the bag. So that's what I did with this one here. And this is just an idea of putting your scraps away. And you can see right through it. Now, if you don't want to buy the bags um, at Clear Bags, um, you can always go with like your Ziploc bags. You could find some different Ziploc size bags at your dollar store. Um, there are like your sandwich bags from Ziploc, but they do have this size, which is a sandwich size. And then they have a quart size, which is something that you can use for this size paper pad but if you don't want to buy the bags uh, you know in bundles of 100 this is another option unless you get some sandwich bags the ones that that um tuck in but they only come in the sandwich size that i know of so you can use envelopes too if you want to but i thought that being a, a see-through see bag it would be easier to be able to see what scraps you want to grab and and you know whatever else so and i would do like like there's a longer flap than like both of them are different lengths so I would put like tape right here and then stick it down and then I would be able to open it and then put my scraps in and then zip lock them down if you want or put tape on this side and then you can flip it over and then open it however you want but if it's a zip lock it'll be pretty secure in there so that's something you can do now what I did with some scraps like six by six I do have a Ziploc bag that I bought from Clear Bags because I wanted to see what they look like, how good of a quality they were, and they do hold pretty good. So what I did is, um, I'll actually, because it was a little bit bit longer than the back cover, is the flap here, um, the longer flap. I taped it to the front. You can see my scotch tape. This is my packaging tape to hold my bag, and then my scraps fit perfectly in here. And I put them in a drawer in my cubicle drawers from Michael's, my um, Jet Max cubes. And that's why I store my 6x6s. Six so this fit fine in there. And it doesn't really make that big of a bulk. Now, you know, you can always thin them out when you're cleaning out stuff. But that's how I stored that one. And then you have some 6x6 six six paper pads that already come in bags. So you can just throw them in there. So that's easy to do with some of those. I recently made some cards. I'll show that video in a little bit, but 
This one here is a matte stack by DCWV and the size papers and the actual size pad is six and a half by four and a half. So one of the things that I wanted to do is put my scraps on the back cover here. So I grabbed my little bags. This is the four and a quarter by six and an eighth. So I grabbed one of those and I put my scraps in it and it fits some, it'll fit on the back cover. So what I'm going to do, it's going to overlap a tiny bit. So because the pocket is on this side, I am going to put it down this way. I'm just going to demonstrate here for you. And that's just... Seal it on the back side. But it's just an idea if you guys wanted to find a way to for your scraps. That is how I'm storing some of my designer paper. So if you guys, if that's an idea that, that is um, something that is helpful to you, I would be excited to know that it has help. All right, so let me show you how I do it the other way. I hope you guys can see this okay. So this is my file box that I found at Walmart a while ago. So it's just, a, it fits your regular file folders for your eight and a half by 11 papers. And this one was black and I found it on clearance for like four bucks or something. You could probably find some of these at like Office Max or something. Um, but the way that I started to save some papers as well, like just single sheets, maybe a couple big sheets or whatever, that don't fit in my paper pads I started to put them in here and I have them labeled like this is reds and pinks my second folder is uh, for blues and greens and I have just like single sheets here another folder is yellow orange and tans and so I'll probably just continue to do that and then the other folder has these I have one that's for grays and something else, but I didn't label it yet because it's not really quite that established. So like if I have like a lot of scraps that I want to keep for a particular paper line, um, like this one here is like ABC primer. So I keep them in this, I kept it in here and I have quite a bit of, of scraps that I should probably toss some of them away, but I don't have, didn't have the heart to. I also have some extra die cuts in here from the collection like this one here so um, I have that there and this one is uh, Primo's Romantique paper so I have some of the paper here so if I have quite a bit for a collection I want to keep it like together like this so I have that there and this one's not labeled it's just sitting in a folder with these envelopes in there Thanks for watching you guys. I will talk to you later. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you later in the next video. Jewel signing out of the Jewel Box. Bye everyone. Bye.